the most captivating alpine lake in Switzerland. This is Oceanensee. Located in the Bernese Oberland region of Switzerland, Oceanensee is an alpine lake created by landslides thousands of years ago. While you can hike to the lake from the very bottom, most will opt to take the cable car from the town of Kendersteg. Boasting some of the bluest waters we've ever seen, Lake Oceanen has a host of several activities such as rowboating, relaxing by or in the water, or our personal favorite, hiking. In this video, we'll take you guys along the best hike to do in Urshanensi while catching the most spectacular view we've seen in a long time. Let's start our day in the town of Kandersteg waiting to board our gondola. English, round trip, hey now. 60 francs <laughs> for a 10 minute cable car ride. Let's go. Good morning, or good morning. We are, as you can see, already riding a gondola. We're starting our morning a little bit later than usual, and we're peacefully riding this gondola with just the two of us in it. It's gonna be a 10 minute ride up for us to see the famous Ocean and Sea. So we actually started the trip right down at the bottom in Kandersteg. You saw us booking those tickets. They're about 30 francs a person. I think it's a little bit steep for a 10 minute ride, but this is when you look on Google in different blog posts or YouTube videos, this is rated as the number one lake hike here in Switzerland. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. The day is so nice, so lovely, barely any clouds in the sky. This is going to be an absolute amazing hike. That was actually one of the shortest gondola rides ever. At literally under 10 minutes. We are already here at the start of the trail to get over to Ocean Z. Oh, there's a map over here though. Oh, we should make sure. How do we actually get there? So the game plan for today is that we are gonna be doing the most popular hike here in Ocean Z. And that is gonna be a scenic loop that takes about three hours to complete. So we're gonna be starting right here take this number five, and then we're gonna go clockwise on number eight. And now there's a big reason why we wanna go clockwise, which we'll explain a little bit later. One thing we noticed just from the first few minutes of being here is how family friendly Ocean and Z is. There's an entire trail, a whole loop trail that is stroller friendly. The one that we're walking on right now on this paved path. And another thing is that as soon as you get off the gondola, you're completely surrounded by these Berner Overland Mountains. So you don't have to go very far to get a beautiful view. Finding the scenic loop trail isn't necessarily the easiest, but all you do is follow the sign that says number five, which is for Lager, Lager Trail. So you're gonna follow number five until you will see a sign that says number eight. And that is when you'll start the scenic loop. scenic route it's definitely a lot more tiring I'm going uphill I think about a total of 500 meters in elevation gain in the span of like an hour and a half maybe so already out of breath but we're excited for these views So out of breath. So the reason why you want to take the clockwise path on the scenic route is because the trail kind of goes like this. It goes steep up and it slowly goes down. So anybody who knows anything about hiking is that you want to do the steepest part going up, not going down. It's a little bit sketchy with all the scree and the loose rocks. It also saves your knees on the way down. 
So this is definitely the recommended route and the most popular way of doing it. But of course, if you want to do counterclockwise, you go ahead. Oh, it's clean. After 30 minutes of hiking, we get our first look at Ocean to Sea up close. That blue is one of the bluest we have ever seen. Now we've actually visited quite a few lakes that look kind of similar, but this is the first time we've seen the mountains literally so high up, so close to the lake. It is absolutely beautiful. We can't wait to get closer to the lake as we circle around the loop. This paparazzi dude just keeps following me. I don't even know why. He's not even being secretive about it. We made it to the main viewpoint. There are tons of benches around here for people to enjoy the view and enjoy lunch. And it's about 1230, which means that there are a ton of people. It's pretty busy as everybody wants to enjoy lunch with this amazing view of ocean and sea. So the lunch spot is obviously very busy because pretty much everyone stops there. But if you just walk an extra like five minutes continuing on the trail, you actually get almost the exact same viewpoint, but without all the crowds. So great place to see Ocean and Sea right from here. So as you can see, the trail follows all the way along the slope of the mountain and then we'll end at that hut before doing a bunch of switchbacks down to the lake. And that indicates the second half of this loop. We made it to the hut that we pointed at earlier and you can come here to relax while enjoying a drink, a coffee, tea, hot chocolate, or even a beer while enjoying the views of the mountains everywhere. It's only gonna be downhill from here and it's not gonna be very long before we hit ocean and sea. One thing to note on the way down, there's a lot of scree. Scree just means loose rocks. So as long as you're wearing hiking shoes or some decent shoes with tread, you'll be fine. Just take it slow. It's really not too bad. As you can see, it's not exactly a paved or a trail road. But this downhill decline definitely makes the trail a lot easier to go down as opposed to taking the counterclockwise direction because with all these switchbacks or zigzags on the trails, it allows us to go at a much lower decline.
After three hours of hiking plus a lot of time for photo stops, we finally made it down to Oceanacy. We've been seeing it from above and it's just as beautiful from here. You can see a bunch of little rowboats in the distance, which is something you can do if you just wanted to explore the lake from the water instead of hiking around like we did. But after that hike, I think it's time for me to dip my toes into that cool, refreshing water.